when I say get out, that's what I meant. And I don't understand how people think that I'm trying to create the same system of hierarchy and oppression that I'm trying to get people to wake up and get free from. It's dark as obsidian And it's light and beautiful and bright as the sun The salt of the earth Fire burning and water dripping How could they be using goddess of magic? She is timeless The people of the desert need a plug She is the wildest woman and let me say it again for those who need to hear it. The black woman is God. Let me say it again. The black woman is God. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Welcome to my channel. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Listen up. Listen up. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. I am your girl, Debbie and Nikki, the original wireless woman. And welcome to my spot, room 303. If you are new, welcome to my crew, but my returnees, you know what we do. If you like this video, well then like this video. Let the comments reveal how you really feel. And if you're feeling a vibe, well go ahead on and subscribe. But before you blink, share this link. Welcome Wi-Fi's to the season finale of season one why so wireless of the wireless woman and this is a little bittersweet it started from the bottom literally and now we're here you know so many days of getting it out of the mud and really really struggling with my content my cameras my lighting my sound and now i'm finally feeling like i'm starting to hit a stride i had a goal for how many episodes i wanted to do for season one and we exceeded it and so now it is time for season two wireless or not nah. and that season we're going to be taking this show on the road hopefully i've got all my glitches out and i do have some surprises guests giveaways stay tuned it's only gonna get better and bigger from here but today's content is gonna be all about some straightening don't not get straightened but straightening don't not get straightened but straightening you don't get shit straight you don't straighten it and if you are a black girl born in the 80s you know all about the straightening cone and what it does and how it feels and today we gonna get some things straight but before we get into today's content you already know what time it is it is time to call the roll so i need everyone who's still a little bit confused about exactly what it is that we're doing here at the wireless woman to the front of the class it is time to read aloud Everybody wanna be black, but don't nobody wanna be a nigga, uh. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So would you, could you be my neighbor? All right, so come on in the house. Welcome on in to the season one season finale of the Why So Wireless season of the wireless woman so go ahead and do me a favor on your way into this episode and like this video why because when you like it well 
I love it. So let's go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. I know, I already know some of you have noticed something a little bit different about me. Yes. Yes, I did part my hair on the right side instead of the left side today. So you already know how this episode is about to go because I never do that. So I can't be held responsible at this point for what might come out of my mouth because this episode was brought to you for you by you. I have a couple of announcements. Make sure you take a look in my description box for links on how you can support my channel, support the cause and the vision, and also on how you can purchase some of my books, which are, as I always say, way more interesting and delightful than I am most days. Not today, though. Not today. Make sure also that you like, comment. Now, we, we've been getting down in these comment sections, and I really appreciate that. And subscribe to this channel. And also share this content with your friends, okay? This is a movement, and I believe it's going to do amazing, awesome, and wonderful things for the Black community, particularly the Black female community. So, Share these videos, share this content with those you know and love. But as I was saying, today's episode was brought to you by you. And what that means is lately I've had a little bit of confusion about what I'm doing here, what my mission is, and why I take time out of my very busy arduous schedule to create content. And I just like to go ahead and straighten it. Go ahead and clear some things up. So I have been as of late being called like a female Kevin Samuels, which is weird. And a Cynthia G, which like I said, I love her content, but I think that people in our community are so thirsty. Maybe that's not the best word are so desperate for leadership that they feel like there's only one of two lanes for people to be in. But the beauty of content creation is being able to vocalize your own thoughts, views, and opinions. It's to be able to create communities that challenge status quo. And whether you realize this or not, we are not going to always have these avenues available to us. There is a heavy amount of censorship that is beginning to go on on social media. Social media is being commandeered and controlled by algorithms and people who have vested special interest in information information being presented a certain way. So people in general need to be cognizant and cautious about who they're taking messages from, no matter what their color, race, gender, sexuality is, because there are agendas at play. And these algorithms have shown us time and time again, that there is a math, a method to all of this internet madness. Now, me personally, I don't take my talking points from anybody else, but God and my own internal consciousness. And I would never broadcast something that I did not feel was beneficial. Here, my goal is not to create talking points or an agenda or to lead people in any particular path or way other than freedom. This is a place where we come to challenge what we think about what truth is, to test it, to make sure that the things that we believe in are worth believing in and that we actually believe in them. So many people hold faulty theories, beliefs, and viewpoints that have never been held up to any litmus test of validity. I'm not here to tell you how to think. I'm here to tell you to think, period, for yourself. And if the path of enlightenment guides you somewhere that I'm not going, 
you still have my encouragement and my backing. These communities of people that are being polarized and weaponized against each other have one, nothing to do with me, and two, are not my goal. I've said from episode one that I am a community builder. And here's the thing. I have nothing against what anyone else is doing either. I believe that prophets are sent to prophesy to the people that will follow them. Even in the time of Christ, you had people that were following John and people who were following John, despite the fact that John said that Jesus was the Messiah, still were torn in their loyalty about turning to follow somebody that John was following. So you're going to always have people who have their allegiances in certain camps. There was Apollos leading at the time of Paul and Peter. Peter and Paul had dissension amongst themselves about how new Christians should worship God. Listen, every there's room out here. Why is it that black people don't understand that? There's room out here. You don't have to make one person your mother and another person your godfather. I mean, why is he a godfather and not just a father father? Go ahead and embrace that man and let him be your father figure if that's what you want. (laughs) But I'm not here to be anybody's father figure. I'm here to build brother and sister relationships with people in the same way that brothers and sisters fight and don't see eye to eye, but mess with one of them mess with one of us and see what happens that's the type of camaraderie that I want on my channel we can say whatever we want to say to each other and in my comment sections people challenge what I believe in all the time I don't claim to be right I claim to be on a path of enlightenment and people who are close to me in my real life will tell you that path has taken me through many different manifestations of myself That to know me and to love me and to embrace me is to hold on loosely. loosely, Is to know these things are subject to change. Is to know that I'm on a path to educate myself, which means that I don't always arrive at the same conclusions in every season. Because that's not what life is. And like I said, The reason why some of the things I say may resonate with things that you heard Cynthia G and some of these, you know, Samantha Cooker and Veronica V and Nyla Speaks and some of these other really great black female content creators. I'm not here to compete with their lanes. I'm here to add color and texture and depth to what they're saying. The reason why some of these talking points sound similar is not because we're copying each other or even that we agree completely fundamentally with each other. It's because the truth, (laughs) the science, (laughs) the science y'all told us all to follow when it came to uh, the panorama and all this different stuff points to certain issues and problems that are pervasive in the black community. And to close your eyes to that, To refute what they're saying as not being factual is to be in a zombie-like state of sleepwalking because all you got to do is look around at our institutions, at our community, at our children, and know (laughs) that our men are missing the mark and that our women are defenseless and without a certain amount of leadership and guidance just because of how our communities and our institutions are set up. We're being educated by our oppressors. We're being employed by our oppressors. We build institutions for our oppressors. We put Jeff Bezos on the moon. We are responsible, all of us, for this. And I'm sorry, we're in a patriarchy. So our men bear the majority of the responsibility for how we got here. And I need you to know that that's what I believe and that's how I feel. I feel that because I myself am a leader and I understand as a leader, I can never absolve myself of the responsibility that I have to my community. I need you to know a couple things about this channel. If you're going to subscribe to it and follow me as an influencer, I intend to combat capitalism and what I've seen it do to my community with socialism. I intend to 
work shoulder to shoulder with men. One thing that's very different about me than some of these other people that I've been compared to, which let me also let you know it's a compliment. (laughs) I find these to be bright, intelligent, insightful, beautiful women. So you're not pulling no skin off my nose by comparing me to them. I'm good with it. They're right in a lot of ways. And they are sent to prophesy to a group of people that need to be radicalized for the work that they have to do. But there are several things about me just on a personal level that make me very different than these other content creators. I have seen a future where the men of my culture and a lot of other people's culture are necessary. I have two wonderful sons that I'm raising that I do not want to create a world for them And I do not want to be a part of shaping and framing a community that makes them feel inferior or expendable. Those are words you'll never hear me use about any section or member of the community that I know we desperately need to build. I have seen, and I will speak more in depth about it on my Oracle episode of The Wireless Woman in Season 2, because I will be doing quarterly prophecies on this channel. And let me just say, I know that there are prophecy channels and that's actually what this channel is, but I'm not going to be on here doing prophecies every week and every four days and every 24 hours. I know a lot of, you know, Christians and spiritual people that do that and I'm not knocking them and their relationship with God. But the Bible says that you have to study to show yourself approved And it also talks about how you have to test spirits by spirits. And I don't know any class that you take where you're taking like a pop quiz every day, where you're getting a test every week. You generally have your syllabus at the beginning of the class. You may have some quarter checks. You may have a midterm and then you have a finals. So I'm not really sure how much testing some of these people are doing on the words that are coming to them from God. But like I said, that's between them and God. But I have some things that I've sat on for a while and I feel a little bit more comfortable now putting out. But I've seen a future that depends on us relying on each other. Not to mention the fact that I don't want to frame a future where people are oppressed and treated the way that I have been oppressed and treated. That's never going to make sense to me. It's never going to make sense to let people hurt me to the point that I become the same harbinger of the things that I watch them do. I'm watching hurt people hurt people and I'm a healed person. I'm here to heal and heal people and be an agent of healing that brings people together. And part of healing is exposure. Part of healing is painful. It is the acknowledgement of of shameful truths that don't make us feel good about ourselves, but they empower us to grow and be better and stronger and to contribute instead of being narcissistic, selfish takers. And my fear is that anyone who comes to power over other people through the form of influencing, leadership, followers, whatever this crap is that everybody is up on, has the power within them to be corrupted. And the only way you can stay incorruptible is to be honest. So I'm always going to be subject to the same honesty that I put out to other people. Yeah, it'd be harsh sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. Some of the stuff that come out of my mouth ain't fun. It ain't fun to say. And people who know me well know I spend time in my own personal time crying about that. And also, this is your daily reminder that Magneto, or as I like to call him, Malcolm X, was right. Toast to you, Magneto. The war is still coming, Charles, and I intend to fight it by any means necessary. I want to create a community, an environment where everybody is free. And freedom is not the ability to say or do whatever you want to do to other people. Freedom is responsibility. Freedom has power dynamics to it. It's not about disempowering any group of people, whether they be male or female. And while I want to be clear that I intend to combat the patriarchy of America with a matriarchy, Yes, I believe that women were created to be the visionaries of the community and that they should be consulted first, that they should be 
comfortable and satisfied with the plans that men are bringing forth. That without their balance, without their input, without their security, their wisdom, every single thing that a man intends to build or lead us in is going to fail. Did you do right by me? Everything you even think about going to fail. And one of the biggest things that works against the African diaspora is patriarchy. Like we have given y'all the chance to prove that you could lead us and you have been corrupted. You have been corrupted. These men with power and money that have been elevated in this patriarchy have been corrupted. Let me give this guy a hug right here. I love this guy right here. Period. And I trust the women of our community to do what I've seen them do, which is to lead, to remain loyal to their people, to sustain, to make much. They've they've proven faithful with little, and now they will be given much. So any man that doesn't want to work shoulder to shoulder with a woman, that doesn't feel like a woman's place is in headship with the man, then yeah, this ain't gonna be the channel for you. You you might feel attacked. You might you might feel belittled or put down when that's not the goal. The goal here is to create a balanced power dynamic. It's the same thing that happens because misogyny is just racism, sexy cousin. So it's the same exact Karenism that we see when we try to call out white people for how racism has caused an imbalanced power dynamic. They want to point out, well, there's Obama. Well, there's Oprah Winfrey. Well, there's like as if that tokenism erases the systematic oppression, the institutionalized racism that we live with every day. The fact that when I go to buy this house, I'm going to pay more for it. The fact that when I go to sell my house, I'm going to get less for it than a white person would. That is stuff that can't be overcome. And y'all don't understand what it's like being a woman living in the patriarchy, being held responsible for the things that men should do, but not being empowered because of gender pay gaps, because of, you know, being told you need to be submissive to actually carry out the things that you're being held responsible for. It's the same thing they've been telling us as black people. You've got equal access. You've got the same opportunities we do when we know that that's not true. And I don't understand how black men who have been framed, who have been held in contempt, who have been wrongfully accused of crimes, who have been put on trials by their peers that weren't really their peers, who know how rigged this system is, could actually turn their face to their women and say, submit to the same things that we want. It's just really weird. It's really upside down. That's what this channel is about. This channel is about creating a balanced power dynamic, which means that what I say is valid and what you say is valid. It's not always beneficial. We're not both always going to get and have our way, but our goal ultimately more than anything else is to survive and to thrive and to be stronger together than we are apart. So no, it ain't going to be no pandering to males over here, but it ain't no pandering to women either. I told them to take their wigs off. Here we find balance and balance is whatever it looks like for you because balance is whatever it looks like for me. Nobody going to come over here and convince me that I'm wrong about things, especially if you haven't put the same amount of time, consideration and study into what you're saying, especially if your goal is division and not cooperation. If your goal is competition and to point out how one group of people is better than another group, then you're not going to find what you're looking for in me. You're not going to find what you're looking for over here on this channel. And I hope <laughs> that we got it straight. I hope that we got it cleared up. I am a daughter of an amazing black man. I'm an ex-wife of an awesome black man. I'm a mother of two gorgeous black men. And my goal is to create a community and environment where we work in cooperation with each other. That is who I am. And that is what the people around me see me doing. See me trying to create in my workplace. 
in my home, in my family. And like I said, eggs get broken when you're making a cake. Wheat gets cut. It gets separated from tears when you're trying to bake bread or make bread. Yeah, I want to make some bread this year. I want to make some bread this year. And that is going to cause me to have to work with people that don't agree with me. That was supposed to have been the dream that y'all was celebrating Martin Luther King about a couple, just a couple of weeks ago. Like, that's what y'all say y'all subscribe to. I'm a Malcolm X girl. But if y'all really subscribe to that stuff, y'all will work with white people, but won't work with other black people. Y'all will work with white men, the same people that oppress you. You said Jay-Z made a good deal with the NFL and all this stuff, but then turn around and follow black men that are dividing your community in half that are literally picking off women and children and, and, and condoning men being with each other as being a way to build your community. Y'all are just weird. Like I never needed a father figure that bad. I've never needed a father figure that bad that I would let men that I'm watching capitalize off of my community lead me. It's never going to happen. I've never let a man sit in my house that was a capitalist, that was a predator, submit me. And it ain't going to happen now. I don't need a father figure. I don't need a man that bad. And I hope to raise a whole generation of women that feel that way and to raise sons that are secure enough in themselves to understand that they don't have to submit a woman, subdue a woman like some sort of slave in order to have her cooperation, her loyalty and her support. Like, where did y'all learn that from? You, you're not noticing a pattern here? I really hope I got some things straight for you. I really hope that you understand what my mission and what my goal is, what I'm willing to compromise in order to bring that about and what I'm not willing to compromise, what I won't compromise. This channel is about the future and the future is female. But I want to create the type of female leadership that has the compassion that we were never extended when it was men that ran the world. And I need y'all to understand this. Eventually that compassion that starts here is going to lead out and grow to include all groups of people. The future that I've seen that's coming to us, it's going to be all hands on deck. And ain't nobody going to be worried about who's high value and who there's not going to be no bourgeoisie, no uh, aristocracy in the future. There's not going to be no place for you to lord over other people. You're going to need other people in the future. Whether they be black, Hispanic, male, female, gay, transgender, we are going to need each other. And that shit is going to become obsolete fast. For the people that are going to be holding on to politics in that time, they're going to perish. And you don't want to be one of those people holding on to an obsolete system of oppression when it stops working. The hand of God is about to move. There is a favored group of people, but that does not, that favor is not fair. It doesn't make you better than other people. It makes you more responsible than other people for outcomes. It empowers you to make changes. And we're in this position collectively as black people because of what we did when we had power, because of what we did when we were holding on to power. And if we're ever brought back again to a power class, we cannot be the tyrannical, totalitarian, cruel leaders that we were subjected to. We should not be seeking to make new slaves, especially out of our own people. After having been slaves, there's a parable in the Bible that talks about a man who was holding a debt over somebody else after he had already had his debt canceled. We're not slaves anymore. Why are we acting like that's the only way to hold on to power over other people? 
It's to enslave them. It's to remove their human dignity from them. And anybody that thinks that's what I'm on, that that's what I'm about, that I'm trying to create a power class out of women so that we can lord it over our men, y'all sick, y'all lost, and y'all don't know me. If you see me on the street, please understand that you don't know me. Please don't keep your thoughts and your feelings out of your own You might have seen me in the street with shout of your own Don't come on this channel and speak on me like eight minutes of one of my videos has shown you everything you need to know about me or my community because I don't appreciate that. But for those, <laughs> but for those that actually took the time to study and show themselves approved, for those who are actually invested in my channel and seeing me successful enough to actually have watched more than a couple of minutes of one video that they didn't even like, go ahead and drop that fire headphones emoji in the comments for me because as always i am your girl debbie and nikki the neighborhood wireless woman i look forward to your smoke to your encouragement in my comments we're here to build we're here for it all we're here for what works and what doesn't work and we're here to learn how to love each other and to love on each other okay like it's all love in the end. If it's not, <laughs> then you may not feel it coming from my community. But if you come in love, I promise you will be met and matched with the energy that you bring. But until the next episode, see you in those comments. Class is now dismissed. Now you wanna take control of me